Hey guys, so in this episode of Throttle Out, I'm gonna show you my top picks for the first five mods that you might wanna do to your JK. So there's been a lot of fuss over the brand new JL, but we can't forget about our JKs. Now modding our Wranglers is what owning a Jeep is all about, and today I'm gonna go over some mods that are great additions to your JK, whether it's brand new or bone stock. It only takes a couple of upgrades to get some better functionality and a unique look out of your Wrangler. Now these are my top picks and they're focused on adding functionality to your Wrangler at a very affordable price. At the end of the day, modding your JK comes down to what you want to accomplish out of your rig and today I'm going to show you what a couple of mods can do to transform the look of your Wrangler and if you want more key information about any of these parts, you can always check out our in-depth product reviews as well as our installs. So let's go jump into it. So starting with the lift kit, this is one mod that will completely change the form and the function of your Wrangler. The specific lift kit is the Terraflex 3-inch base suspension lift kit with 9550 VSS shocks. So why is this one of my first mods? Well, the Terraflex kit is a perfect blend of off-road ability as well as being comfortable for on-road performance. This 3-inch lift kit means your Wrangler is able to conquer those trails with good flex and dampening without sacrificing any drivability on the street. This is also one of those mods that will replace a lot of old, worn-out suspension components while giving you that big upgrade in performance. Also, being a space suspension lift, this is perfect to get your Jeep up and off the ground and leaves room down the line for other upgrades to complement the kit. This features those 9550 VSS shocks that are nitrogen charged, perfect for a split between the trail and giving you some stiffer dampening on the street for a very long lifespan. Not to mention this will level out the rake of the front end, creating a stronger stance overall and the Jeep is going to look a lot more aggressive. So with a lift kit usually comes bigger wheels and tires, and that's exactly what we have going on here. We put a 35 inch tire on which fits very well while still allowing a lot of room for up travel for good flex but still a 35 fills out the wheel well really nicely, giving the Jeep an overall good look and stance. Of course, 33s are gonna fit, however, they may look a little small inside the wheel well, but they're still gonna give you a one up on these 35s with some extra flex room in off-road situations. As for 37s, guys, you're able to fit them on, but as far as up travel goes, you're very limited. This lift kit recommends a 35 inch tire, and I thought that would fit best for what we're looking to accomplish. Now this Jeep is gonna see off-road, but it's mostly gonna stay on the pavement. So I went with a set of 35-inch Dick CPEC Fun and Country tires and a pair of 17-inch Mammoth Boulder wheels. I think these wheels are right in between tough and stylish. And since they're not gonna see just a trail or just a street, I think that's a really good middle ground and they give the Jeep a nice contrast overall. Now for the tires, these are gonna meet somewhere in the middle as well while being off-road ready while also staying very quiet. This Dixie Peck Fun and Country tire will have a pretty aggressive tread for an all-terrain giving an aggressive look, but it's gonna have large lugs that are relatively close for that quietness and normal wear on the street, making for the perfect in-between and a great choice for your first buy. For my next mod, it's going to go out to the Red Rock Side Armor. A Jeep can be a challenge to get into, especially if it's lifted like this one. These will provide a side rail here for a nice step to easily get in and out of your Wrangler. The reason that I picked these though is because your rocker is one of the most vulnerable areas on your Wrangler, so these are going to double as some really tough side protection if you plan on taking your Jeep out on the trails. These specific steps will have some side and underbody protection for any of those lower obstacles on the trail and really be able to protect your rocker. They'll also fill up that wheel-to-wheel -wheel space very well and complement the fenders with the textured black powder coat finish and give a nice contrast to your Wrangler. So for my next mod, I chose these fenders because it changed the whole aesthetic of the Jeep and really makes it its own. I chose the Iron Cross fender flares for a touch of form and function. These are first of all gonna change the whole look of your Wrangler and give it a very aggressive look overall. Not only are these just gonna look badass, but they're also gonna provide a ton of protection while you're out on the trail. So if this ever does take a hit, instead of the plastic fender cracking, bending, or breaking, these are gonna hold their own. These are also gonna last a very long time, made of 12 gauge steel with a black powder coat finish, just assisting in the aggressiveness that we're achieving here. Not to mention, paired with this lift, you will be increasing your up travel up front because of the more room that the fenders allow. So let's go ahead over to the engine bay for my next mod. So adding a lift in larger wheels and tires usually means you're losing a little bit of efficiency because of all of that extra weight and a loss of aerodynamics. An intake is a perfect way to help gain some of that efficiency back. 
Anytime you're opening up airflow, whether it be intake or exhaust, you'll be seeing some gains. However, for us Jeep owners, those gains usually stick at the top of the RPM range where we don't spend a lot of time. However, with gains usually means efficiency, and this will definitely help out with some of your MPGs if you've seen it go down from putting on larger wheels and tires. So the intake that I chose is the InGen Evolution because of the performance as well as the design. For a first mod, you want that performance. You want that extra get up and go out of your Wrangler that you may have lost from putting on those larger wheels and tires and screwing up your aerodynamics. But you also want to keep your investment protected. This will have an enclosed box protecting that filter inside while also allowing that cold air to get in and through your intake manifold. Out here on the East Coast, it's a little bit of a wetter climate, so I think this pairs perfectly for what we're looking to get out of our Wrangler. So that's gonna wrap it up for my first five mods. Tell me what you guys think or what you would pick in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool Jeep content like this right here at extremeterrain.com.